my darling. My dearest Edna. Dear Mrs. Pomeroy, I hope you don't mind me writing to you. I expect you might find it odd. I know I only lodged with you for a month, but I miss you. you know. I think of you often. We have been at the front now for two days. Please don't worry yourself. The rumours about the conditions are not entirely true. They think we'll be out here for ten days before they rotate us out. And there are no assaults planned. I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to tell you. If I have spoken out of turn, they will censor my letter. I don't know how much of this will get through. Yours, Tommy. Dear Tommy, I shall be posting this letter, care of your platoon, in the hopes of it catching up with you. I expect you're surprised to hear from me. But I knew you had no one from home to write to you, and I don't like to think of you over there all alone. Write to me if you can. Just a few lines to let me know you're okay. I'm keeping your room for you, just as you left it. Yours, Edna Pomeroy. Dear Mrs. Pomeroy, I haven't been able to post my last letter to you yet, as we've had our time at the front to extend it. To safe here in my pocket, next to my heart. Safe here in my pocket, so you will get both of these letters at the same time. We're due a mail pickup tomorrow, but if that doesn't happen, I will be back at barracks before long. I wish I could tell you how much I love you. How much I enjoyed my time with you. I'm not much of a writer, but I've tried my hand at poetry. You inspire me. I love you. It's all a bit of a laugh, really, but I'm including my first attempt. There is no time to remember the stars. The war has kept my eyes forward, unblinking. But tonight I wonder if the stars are looking down at you, the distance between us. Silver mist from your breath as it leaves your lips and kisses this December night. This is more than a moment locked on a page because the thought of you, the thought of those stars watching over us keeps a part of me where you are. I long to hear your news from home. Please write soon, Tommy. Dear Tommy, I'm not sure if you got my letter or not. I've had no word from you. Perhaps you were embarrassed. Do let me know if you'd like me to write to you or not. It is so hard to know whether any letters are getting through. Maybe you can't write at the moment. I expect fighting doesn't leave much time for letters home. And I do want you to think of this as home. Is that too forward? Since my husband passed, the house seems so empty. Please write if you can. Yours, Edna Pomeroy. Dear Mrs. Pomeroy, I wish you would send me a letter. You've probably forgotten me by now. We've had our time at the front extended again. Something is brewing, but nobody knows what. There's talk of a big push. Conditions are pretty grim. Rats, lice, wounded men, and the stink of death. I try to tune out the symphony of screams, but it follows me everywhere, even into my dreams. Did you get my letter? Please, write soon, even if it is just to tell me you don't care for me. Please, please write, Tommy. Dear Tommy, still no word from you. I will not write again. It was wrong of me to bother you. God bless you and keep you safe. Yours, Edna Pomeroy. Dear Mrs. Pomeroy, tomorrow we go over the top. A kind of word from England would have made it easier to bear, but I'm sure you have your reasons. I'm just one soldier in a crowd of thousands, even here, and we're all far from home. God bless you and keep you safe. 